Hello there traders and welcome to another update on the market. For today I decided to cover USD versus Japanese Yen. I will speak about the gold market, US dollar index, crude oil and Bitcoin versus US dollar. I will start the USD versus Japanese Yen first. Basically what I alerted in my previous forecast basically on the USD Yen is that USD Japanese Yen completed a very a nice ABC uh, corrective pattern. So we completed the downside correction in the very, very heavy upside cycle or upside trend. And as we can see, basically our main objective from uh, previous week, uh, we reached that main objective at 131.20, which was minimum level uh, that I expected based on this ABC completion. And now basically price is basically holding above the previous, above the Friday's height uh, 130.80 so we're holding for many hours and we have a deep break of previous day high so I, I definitely think I, I see no any kind of divergences or something no big reversals no big climaxes so I still expect higher prices um, from my perspective short term speaking I can see USDN towards 130 133.60 70 area and then eventually 135 uh, so next key levels to watch are 133.70 and 135. Short term speaking, my advice is basically to watch for buying opportunities on the dips using the intraday time frame if you're short term oriented. Next one, I want to cover gold. So gold is basically in the downside cycle. Let me just go on the four hour time frame and show you basically current swing structure, right? So we have swing structure like this. We have defined downside trend and um, now the price is basically trying to retest previous swing low but this is the current structure that we are speaking from april 18 april 19 so we got clearly downside cycle in alignment here if we take some previous pivot levels we clear pivot lows here we retested few times uh, Cluster the lows around 1950, 1916. We even broke this key area here. So the next basically key area, uh, key area is this um, 1820, uh, 1821, and basically whole area at this stage where we have multiply 1780 and then lower and lower depend on this. So, but for the next short term period. I definitely see potential for um, 1820 to be in the play. Uh, current structure is not. It's a guess thing. We can at least actually we're retesting this 1866, and the next level to watch is 1852. Uh, intraday speaking, we're still inside the previous day range. Uh, we're just testing the previous day low. Um, we have open drive on the Tokyo session, and we basically have the downside. So we have. Sellers for now absolutely in control with no evidence for the reversal of this current intraday trend. So still watch for eventual downside break, clear 1865, maybe aggressively clear that. Watch for the rally. The rally will be on lighter volume and lighter price section. Then we can expect further downside. You know, something like this. This can be, you know, confirmation that we can have even further downside move towards the 1851. US dollar index basically is holding very well. Um, similar to the USDN, we had here uh, ABC completion. I alerted about this uh, last week and basically market retested that 104.4 level that we basically, um, 104.05 uh, that we alerted that it's a minimum that we will test. But based on the current price section, I don't see any kind of reversals or something. I can see even higher prices. We need to go and basically go to the higher time frame to find what is the next important pivot uh, on the dollar index. And dollar index, I cannot see here any any next level. So we're basically sitting in this important area. So basically, my previous price section, I cannot see. I don't have enough data here. Uh, overall, uh, we can use, my, for example, um, you know, just example of extension. We can use this extension and just basically um, identify trend-based FIBA extension. If you like Fibonacci and so, we can use like this. Uh, we can see basically that 100% 
area is around 105 and then 161, 114. So that's just a projection like 100% of this swing high projected from this swing low here. So it's area around 105.13. Still, I see no evidence for the reversal on the dollar, in, uh, on the dollar index. Speaking of the crude oil, Speaking of the crude oil, we have heavy contract, heavy you know consolidation here. We have also basically inside day, not a narrow day, but still inside day from from Friday. Uh, this overall is a one giant consolidation. If we treat like this, you know we have value high at hundred and eleven forty five, value low at ninety nine, uh, mean around one hundred to sixty seven. Basically, we are this in this. And this heavy contraction and heavy consolidation on the higher degrees right so still not that clear picture on the crude oil this is so far what we have balanced regime very balanced as well here we build like some kind of contraction this is that two day and inside day formation so we'll see we'll have an upside break or downside break they will have a follow-through or not having follow-through but this is definitely contraction i'm paying attention to see how we can resolve from here. The bigger downside break can lead us back to the lows of 102, maybe even 150. The upside breakout can lead us basically towards 114 if we have a, f a break and follow through. And then the Bitcoins. This is something basically we spoke, um, I alerted you about this, that Bitcoin is in the downside cycle and never ch it never changed last week. Basically, I alerted about this key pivot around 39, uh, about 40,000 mark that we can see basically at least downside. And we have a very strong sell off of that point. That was the key, basically 40,000 mark. And now basically price is approaching our, it's already reached that first objective at 34,500. Now it's basically near the, this 33,000 mark. If we even clear lower and we continue lower and I don't see any kind of reversal on my higher degrees, then I, I, I will not be surprised that Bitcoin will, will try and go towards the 30,000 mark. So definitely, you know, watch for some kind of the rallies. <clears throat> this is not, now price is an extreme, but short term, some kind of rallies and then potential for the downside continuation can be a proper strategy according to the current, uh, current condition. That will be all guys for this update. I hope that you did enjoy. Uh, have a good day, trade safe, and see you tomorrow morning.